Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a weekly reading. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, I was meditating off camera, shuffling the card. Then I started to shuffle the cards, and this is what I got. Um, the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. See that? Focus, sorry. And at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. All right, so 10, 10. 10 reduces to one, aces are ones. The message I got was, um, it's from a song. It says, don't say four months and then comes a harvest. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. So something about work and doing the work. This card talks about getting fired up, inspiration, a new lease on life, a creative spark, right? Uh, finding a new passion, being enthusiastic about it, urgent that you get it done, it's accepting a challenge, growth here. It talks about diet and fitness, pioneering, leading the way, entrepreneurship, an inventor, a new adventure. Um, conception you know conception of of course a baby but conception of an idea uh birth growth um and then the ten of wands goes to talking about um the ten of wands talks about keep going because there's an end in sight okay major challenges it's struggle at some points and maybe you may even feel like you've lost your way you may feel like it's just duty at this point you just are just doing something and you don't see where it's going with the ten of wands um this card talks about burden um unavoidable expenses struggling daily maybe even hiding behind work um Busyness, using busyness as an excuse, but being close to a big achievement of building a more secure future. And what is more secure than a Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles talks about um, happy, organized people build empires or legacies. It talks about working from home um, a large windfall of money. Um, it talks about stability, of course, financial stability. Um, the Lord of Wealth. This is the so you go from the Lord of Oppression. Wow, we got another ace coming out. The Ace of Cups here. You go from the let me just plug this laptop in. Um, you go from the Lord of Oppression to the Lord of Wealth by way of your doing, your hand, your work. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers, people who will do this work, are few. The divine has blessed you with motivation, inspiration, creativity, spontaneity. I'm saying that word right. Also, inspiration again. It says that in the Ace of Cups, a, a success. Well, there's opportunity for a successful, prosperous, or profitable business. Or business idea can be very profitable. The Ten of Pentacles. Um, it talks about, of course, the Lord of Wealth marrying into money. Um, Business, new business, privilege here. Yeah, talks about privilege, long term financial security. Back to the Ten of Wands, where you are um, building a more a secure future. Okay. This could be spending money on your home, too. Uh, the transference of wealth. So that means it's, it's, 
if something is being transferred is coming from something else to you Aquarius uh, the will of fortune is also a 10 card so the will is always turning for all of us right so those people or that group of, of individuals who, who have uh, been under the good of fortune uh, now the will will turn in your favor the transference of wealth now the wealth will be spread to you Aquarius all because of your doing by your hand by your labor this is working so hard not seeing an end in sight but being uh, very close to a big achievement being on autopilot says the ten of wands um, not knowing where this is going but knowing that feeling like it's going to get you here the ten of the ten of pentacles knowing that it's going to get you here uh, the divine has blessed you with uh, motivation um energy inspiration there are no major arcana here so this is you aquarius this is by your hand the ten of pentacles talks about a timing of september 12th to september 22nd so you need to make sure this is autumn uh, i think the end for us here in the states the last day of summer is september 22nd you need to make sure that you are doing the work, Aquarius. I mean, you putting in a work. You're going to bed sleepy. You're going to bed tired. You're, you're waking up doing the work because look where it's going to land you. It's almost as if the universe is trying to show you or push you, propel you to your greatness. Um, it's not for them to do the work for you. Always remember it's for us to do the possible. It's for God, spirit, whatever you believe in, to do the impossible. So if it is possible for you to do, and it is, you need to get doing it. You need to get going. Um, and it's for God to do the impossible. The working behind the scenes with these, this moon card here, there's some working behind the scenes. And then we have the moon phases here also. This is summer, the Ace of Cups. This is spring. So what you did in the spring, in the summer months, wow, you're going to see a harvest. And this is a summer, spring. You're going to see the harvest in the autumn. Very nice. This is affluence, values, wow, ancestry solid foundation privilege aquarius inheritance could be getting of actual inheritance or you could be creating that for yourself okay um let's get you some more cards here where are we at time eight minutes um because i wanted to take these uh i'll leave them out um just to see whatever other messages i'm really feeling like the aquarius most of my Aquarius are not really concerned with love at this point, um, but more concerned with the things that they can control. And that is their, the potential to earn. Okay. And the potential to um, be great at whatever it is they are involved in, whatever brings you income. So that's money worked for not given, not inherited, not one. Um, yeah of income here so uh, let's see what else do we have for my Aquarius this is really good Aquarius you go from the Lord of oppression to the Lord of wealth it says that the harvest is plenty but the laborers are few don't say four months and then comes a harvest but keep going. Wow. That's beautiful, Aquarius. Just keep going. Because some door, some opportunity is opening for you. And, and I want you to know it's by your hand. They, they want you to know it's by your hand. It's by your doing. Spirit is only backing you. You can't back someone who's doing nothing, right? Because, okay, I can back nothing. That's nothing then. You know, I'm... 
you're doing nothing so I do nothing but to do the work to continue to do the work to put in work then imagine what spirit is doing behind the scenes for you so congratulations Aquarius this is really good um, what else do we have to tell my Aquarius what else do we have to tell my Aquarius whoa popped out of the deck um wow I th the will of fortune Aquarius Aquarius and we talked about the will of fortune with these two tens here and you can see that the will of fortune is a 10 card you see that 10 there the will is turning in your favor by your doing all of this instability all of this competitiveness all of the um, the backbiting the uh, competing goals uh, forces uh, against you or people against you or people the naysayers the people who talked behind your back the people who kept up the pettiness people who couldn't see your vision the people who were there to disrupt or disturb you uh, distract you Aquarius and um, they want you to know that it's not going to stop the, the your fortune you know um, your great fortune that is coming for you Aquarius wow this is this is amazing. I just can't even make this up. We flew onto the floor. It's the five of wands. I'm not going to get it because it's across the, the room. Um, well, I'll try to get it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. The instability. Okay. The, the instability. The... Uh, In the five of wands, you get a fight. Fight for what you want, says the five of wands. You get competitiveness, friskiness. You get people being riled up for whatever reason. Um, you get competing goals. Um, you get opposition, okay? Um, and you may have had to deal with this, especially for those of you who work for yourself, and those of you work for for a company, um, you may have felt like you were doing you're working against the grain, or you were going against the grain, or something just wasn't working out for you. Well, you also with all these wands here, you were trying to do a lot in a short amount of time. For some of you, you accomplished it. Also, when I was med meditating off camera rest was that that was a big thing rest and meditation because the ten of wands talks about stress also okay and of course we're human beings we work ourselves to the bone or we work ourselves or we overwork we we suffer from burnout stress make sure that you are decompressing you're de-stressing do something for you whatever that may be whatever it is you like you that allows you to a positive outlet whatever that may be this talks about friskiness too, sex and, it, and you know sexual activity can go on by yourself too sometimes this talks about masturbation whatever you need to do to have that positive outlet um because there is a lot of stress here built up but it's because you're trying to create a more secure future and you will with the ten of pentacles because happy organized people stress less people create legacies empire this is beautiful i don't even know if i should pull any more cards aquarius i'm not seeing a lot with love i know you guys you know a lot of you come to the channel for that and you find most of us including myself years ago years ago found tarot and the esoteric because of a love relationship you know that's it, it'll push you to ask questions of why and why come and why for and what the hell is going on so i do understand some of us are here for love relationships but then some of us have grown and we we understand love and those types of relationships so now we're on to something else and we're into something that we can control a little bit better and that is our our 
earning potential or increase and it's not just a selfish um pursuit you know because you've got tens here this governs a body of you know so for some of you this is not just for yourself this is for your family this is for your friends these are people you know you want to have this wealth and this opportunity so that you can share it so that you can uh, multiply it or other people can help you multiply it you know people you appreciate love um so that's um so th that's that okay one card did want to come out the empress wow this it just gets better the empress talks about of course conception i don't feel like you, some of you could be getting pregnant or are pregnant also the empress talks about readying yourself for pregnancy the empress talks about okay so there are three stages in a, in a woman's life um so maiden uh oh wow at the bottom of the, the high priestess so yeah some of you are getting ready to really birth either a big achievement like you're ready to put something out to the world and some of you, your bodies, your mind, your spirit, whether you know it or not, you're getting ready for actual pregnancy and conception here. Um, and some of you could be in your early, the early stages of conception here too. And you'll be finding out that you are pregnant. Um, wow. You had the, the inspiration by way of spirit and then you went into planning and now you're executing and you're doing it each and every day and now you're going to go to wealth wow Aquarius this is major the three majors here are the high priestess the empress and the the will of fortune Keep your ideas to yourself right now. Yeah. Keep your ideas to yourself right now. You're going to be in a very abundant state. And you're going to feel like you want to give. Make sure you're giving to the right people. Make sure that you're co-creating, creating with those who have your best interest at heart. There could be some masculine energy, some soulmate that resurfaces. There is some love messages for you there there could be a new soulmate that comes in also something about destiny this card talks about Greek mythology talks about in the will of fortune there are the fates f-a-t-e-s behind the scenes always turning the wheel for all of us but they know which way to turn um, they know which way the will is going by way of what you're doing destiny the fates behind the scene they know where the where you're supposed to be the landing the predestination but even in predestination if you believe in it we still have free will so if you're supposed to be at the example is if you're supposed to be at grandma's house and that's where you're supposed to be going um and that's the predestined place grandma's house um but you decide to go over to a friend's house that's free will you knew that you know the destiny is grandma's house the destination is grandma's house everybody around you pretty much knows that or that's what you have put out um to other people to the universe everybody knows grandma's house is the destination but you have the free will to change that and make a detour and go to a friend's house and who god knows where that detour lands you and and now you're at a place of just detour and detouring and then there could be course correction that gets you back on the course to grandma's house and that's pretty much life you know um the will is already the destiny is already set for you it's just that um 
you can you can cut it short you can detour it says that there's something about what you should be doing you know so when the high priestess shows up in a reading it talks about um that's that very faint voice that speaks to you you know and, and tells you this should be happening or you should be doing this and it's very faint and that voice will speak to you and be with you for a lifetime there's no pressure here it's just spirit intuition and they want you to bring it into realization which would be something like the ten of pentacles so if you know you should be starting that business or you should be out of that marriage, or you should leave that person alone or you should do this or do that, that voice speaks to you at times when you're at a place of where you can hear the voice, but you still have to choose to plan two card, the number two card, have to plan to actually move on it. And some of you are, you're going to bring something from the 3D, sorry, something from the 5D into the 3D into realization and um people get this misconstrued um this is the the divine feminine okay and the divine masculine is the magician because they're closest to spirit they're in the 5d they're not realized now when you get to the empress and the emperor they're in the world they this is realization this is Creation. This is the initial stages of creation. And then the emperor is the foundation, you know. So um, this is earth mother. Okay, this isn't divine feminine. But anyway. Um, so it's like you bring, you have an idea, you bring it into realization. Uh, Aquarius, this is just a very deep reading. I think you know that you have to sacrifice something here. If something needs to be sacrificed, or you need to let go of, let go, and let God, let the will turn because it's turning for you. All you need to do is what you can do. You do the possible and let God do the impossible. The stress is coming because you, you want to be in control and you don't know where this is going and you can't see it and it's not laid out and you don't have a play by play a book of what's about to happen therefore stress creeps up uh, which also then turns into anxiety which turns into fear which turns into the scarcity mindset which just you just go further and further down the rabbit hole so they want you to sacrifice um, those thoughts sacrifice uh, that energy by way of letting go just let go yeah you paid all your bills and now you've got a little bit of money in the bank. Don't stress about it because something is coming back around for you. Um, things always seem to work out. Stress does nothing for the situation. You know what does something for the situation? Work. We have a saying here at the channel, work is rewarded. Work. You want more money? you do more yep you got it right work you want more love you give more love first into yourself then to the other people around you is it's, it's really not rocket science but we try to make it that because if we can make something abstract complex then we can hide behind the excuse of it's too much or it's too hard or I'm not able to do or I can't obtain but it is as simple as that if you want more of you fill in the blank you do more of that thing if you want if you want to be more fit then you do more fitness or fitting things in terms of fitness if you want to have more money, what brings money? It's not that hard. Most times, in, you know, if you're an average person, if you're not 
Silver Spoon, Trust Fund Baby, um, Multi-Millionaire, Billionaire, then you're an average person. And what will bring you more money is doing more work. No one wants to actually have that direct correlation because then that would mean that you would actually have to do more work. And it sucks, but it is what it is. None of us can get around it. Um, and we try to cheat. You know, you know, we try to find a cheat code. We try to take the shortcut. We want to play the lottery. We want to get in on the get rich scheme and the scams. And, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. A lot of times it doesn't. What brings more is doing more of that thing or putting out more of that. Okay. I don't know who that's for. Um, it is what it is. I hope you took something from this reading. If you did go over to the website, book your own reading there. Aquarius, you have something very dynamic in the, in the works for you. I think some of you just really let go of this abstract idea of, you know, being in a place of lack or arresting there or being in a place of instability. Um, Understanding that this is temporary and that you can get yourself out of it by way of doing the work, staying faithful to it, um, understanding that you're right on the precipice of a big achievement that will put you in the place of having, I heard sudden wealth, shit, damn, for some of you, let me know, come bless me, yeah. um, Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, which is a 10 card. You you turn the wheel, Aquarius, by way of showing the the fates who that that is associated with the the story of the fates. You show them by way of the ten of wands. Wow. Um, you show them that they needed to turn the wheel in your favor. It was time. It was destiny. Okay. Um, there's some some alignment here too. There's Saturn. Here, you learned a lesson about work, work ethic, duty, what it means to stay faithful to that. Nothing is coming to you easily because if it came to you easy, you can lose it just as easy or just as quick. <laughs> Aquarius just, just can't get any better. You got the lovers showing up here too. Life altering choice, change. Again, destiny and fate. It could be about um, a love relationship. It could. This could manifest in two different ways. Sometimes it shows that when you make a life-altering choice, change in your work, in your career, and what you do, and what brings you a sense of usefulness, satisfaction, what is fitting or fit, yeah, what is fitting or healthy in your life. Um. Also, good health, too, <clears throat> with the, the Wheel of Fortune showing up. It just doesn't get any any better than this, Aquarius. Um, the message is keep going. Keep going. Because you, for those who I'm talking to, I mean, like, you're almost there. You're, I mean, like, we have the, this is, um, <clears throat> September 12th through September 22nd. So you, some of you could be seeing 222 two, two a lot. And then we have, um, we have Saturn in the Ten of Wands, which is uh, the planet that, that um, life lef lessons, life lessons. You're learning those, okay? You're learning that this this doesn't last always. This is the fullness of a thing. You've worked this hard, and now you'll be able to rest in the shade here. Um, and then we have the Ace of Wands, which talks about uh, it talks about getting fired up, the inspiration. Okay. Um, and the timing on the Ace of Wands is. And see, this is what you've been doing all of the summer months because the timing on the Ace of Wands is June 21st to September 20th. 
So like, again, I won't go back over the entire reading, but what you did in the spring and summer months here, um, it's going to show up in autumn, in autumn for you. I said autumn. And it's going to show up in autumn for you, or fall. It's going to show up. This is really good. You, you started something and you stayed with it. Okay, Aquarius, really good reading. I hope that somebody took something from that. We're in 30 minutes. Um, I'll try to gear another reading for you guys towards love because I know some of you are here for that. But some of you are here just for life progression. Like you just want to get out of the rut. You are tired. You understand the common denominator is you. And you just want to do what you need to do to progress and move forward. And it looks like you are. For those of you who I'm talking to, many blessings to you. Get your own personal readings so you can get insight to what your future looks like, especially if you know you have been doing the work. Um, you can get insight into what you need to do in terms of uh, pushing this forward even more. Um, you can get details. So yeah, go over to the website, book there. I think I'm going to do 50% off today. Use code, where is, okay. And you're only getting this 50% off by listening to this reading. So I'm not going to send out an email or anything like that. Because um, I think it's for those of you who want to actually know. So anyway, um, yeah, use code if it will populate. Come on, no, 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 no. I have a problem, yep, with this. Uh, okay, all right, there we go. All right, here we are. Okay. I'm trying to get the code for you guys. For those of you who care to have the code, 50% uh, off phone readings. And you are going to use code. Um, not, okay. uh, you're going to use code 5050. Okay. And I'm going to activate that. Um, yeah, so code five zero fifty at checkout on phone readings. Cause I want to talk to you guys over the phone. I I love doing phone readings. All right. So anyway, um, or if you're not in the states, you can do Skype, WhatsApp. We can make it happen. Fifty percent off. All right. Five zero. For today only, today is 8 30, 2021, August 30th, 2021. Okay, uh, there we are, and um, I hope that this really blessed you. I guess we could have extended it, we'll extend the love reading. Um, anyway, all links are below. You could um, donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the buy me a coffee link. If I blessed you, bless me. Buy me a coffee if you're feeling moved to do so. Um, you can also ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. It is a business line, guys. This is not my personal phone number. It's a business line um, that you can uh, text, okay? So um, text your questions there. It is not a line for you to set up personal readings. You go to the website for that. And you'll be instructed to do so. So save yourself a step and just go to the website. Um, thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.